Hey everyone, if you like the channel, please consider subscribing. It means a ton. Thanks so much. Enjoy the video. So the second method to fish with a floating line is what we call fishing naked. That means a full floating line and a sinking leader, no indicator. So right now, I'm anchored in 13 feet of water. I'm fishing a shoal that's 13 feet deep. So I've got on a, a nine foot tapered, regular tapered leader that ends in 4X. And then I've added an additional uh, 10 feet of uh, 4X to my Cronmet pupil pattern. I wanna be fishing a leader at leader length at least 25% longer than the depth of water I'm fishing when we're doing the naked line technique. That's because this is a, this is a te technique where we're casting and retrieving, but that monofilament uh, leader and then our fluorocarbon tippet material is never gonna be hanging perpendicular straight up and down. It's gonna be on an angle uh, as we cover the water column. So that's why we need to use a longer leader, at least 25% longer than the depth of water you're fishing. So I've cast downwind with this uh, about uh, 19, 20 foot leader that I have on right now. Uh, and I've waited maybe, uh, 50 seconds before I'm starting a really slow hand twist retrieve. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing the fly, the chronomid pupa horizontally through 13 feet of water. But I wanna bring that fly within about a foot of the lake bottom. That's why I wanna retrieve it horizontally, about a foot off the bottom. So I have to wait for that fly to sink. If I waited 50 seconds and a third of the way through my retrieve, I snagged bottom, then I know on my next cast, I'm gonna reduce the weight to maybe 40 seconds before I start my hand twist retrieve. So we're bringing the fly horizontally through the water column as close to the bottom as we can get, even though the pupa are down there, head up, tail down, and then if they're merging, they're wiggling straight up. The reason why this technique works is that we're showing that fly to a lot of potential fish that are willing to bite. And it's moving through their water column and it'll take an aggressive fish to see that chronomid pupa moving horizontally and they'll grab it. So typically the bite is, you feel the bite, it's a pretty good take versus a soft take when it's an indicator bite at times. And uh, nymphing, Long leader naked nymphing is an excellent way to fish chronomids, but also several other key stillwater food sources like leeches, damselfly nymphs, caddis pupa, and scuds or freshwater shrimp are all very effectively fished uh, with a naked line, floating line, long leader. There's a, an additional way or additional technique to use fishing naked, and that's with uh, an emerger tip or midge tip floating line. So that's a full floating line with a one meter tip of clear intermediate. So it's basically a mini sink tip. So that slow intermediate sinking line just sinks and get you down below the surface film a little bit quicker. And uh, it allows you to fish. Uh, I like using that line when I'm nymph, when I'm naked fishing in uh, say 17 to 25 feet of, of uh, water. It just gets you down a little bit quicker and keeps you down uh, so that you can stay in that zone where you want to be bringing that fly horizontally. So this is uh, the still water merger tip. So here's the end of our fly line. And then here's the, the clear section. So it's in clear, the one meter tip. And then there's the loop loop. And then if you closely, it's 
that's the line we're using. So full floating line, emerger tip or midge tip are great lines to fish chronomid pupa because there are days when the fish don't want to eat the pupa suspended under an indicator. They want to see a bit of movement. Because you remember when those pupa are ascending to the surface, they're wiggling. They're wiggling and they, as they get close to the surface, they get more and more active. So they're twitching in the water and there are days when they want some movement to the fly. And uh, this is a way you can do it uh, with, uh, without an indicator. Uh, so it's a long leader, naked nymphing with a flow floating line or an emerger or midge tip line. Another fly line to have in your arsenal when you're fishing the chronomid, both larval and pupil patterns.